My name is Carol Flavin and I'm a railway modeler. And I have a layout in my house at my home that is called the Edge Hay and Strines Railway. Hello, I'm Carol Flavin. This video is about adding churches to your layout. Now, I live in the UK, I live in England. Most villages, most towns have churches in them. And although I don't actually model a time or a place on the Edge and Strines Railway, nevertheless, I want to represent where I live and what's around me. So I've got a number of churches. There is one, which is a day pole church, which has a funeral. There is another that is a Metcalf building that has a wedding. And the other one is an Oxford diecast one that I'm going to use on a Magna Rail village uh, that I'm going to be taking out to model railway exhibitions, hopefully towards the end of 2022, 23. We'll have to see how that goes. There are others out there, obviously, but these are the ones that I used. And I'd like to just show you how you can use them, how you can enhance them, what you can do with them. And I hope you find it useful. The first church I added to my layout was the Daypole Church. Now this is a plastic kit that I bought and I made and I painted to look as if it was part of the area, which is sort of roughly Yorkshire where I model. It sits on my layout, the Edge and Strines Railway, in a rather nice little hamlet called Upper Strines Hamlet at the foot of some mountains. This is the hamlet, nice friendly little place, people standing around, chatting, things going on, because churches in villages are often the heart of the village and I wanted to place it so it could be seen. And this has appeared as an article in British Railway Modelling in 2021. There is a graveyard scene with a coffin, which has just been lowered or is being lowered. This actually represented something that happened in my family as it happens. I made the walls myself out of thick cork. I created the lich gate and I made paths and I added flowers and I added a whole load of gravestones that I'd picked up from a job lot from somewhere. I carved the coffin out of a little bit of balsa wood and added suitable figures round the funeral itself. I did trees and in fact, although you can't see it, it has got stained glass in the windows and it's lit. I was the team leader of the Loco Ladies and we were, took part in the Great Model Railway Challenge in 2019. And the church was actually made to, to be on our layout called Bucolic Britain. The first picture was taking part in the Great Model Railway Challenge. The second one was at Worley at the NEC in 2019. The second church is a Metcalf car card kit. It sits on the layout in the far corner, drawing the eye across towards a plateau above Edge Hay Village with a church, a ruined church, and it's designed to catch the eye. That is also lit. It's a card kit, but it isn't one I made. I ended up, it, it just came with a, a set of other things I bought as a job lot. So I used it as it was. I've actually weathered it a little bit more than it looks there. But there is a wedding party taking place. There are people sitting around watching, lots of bushes, trees, flowers, gravestones. And it's one that I'm really quite happy with. I enjoyed making this. It is actually a diorama that can be taken off the layout and used somewhere else if I choose to. The third church is an Oxford diecast church, which is a resin model that you can put lights inside. It's sitting at the moment on the left hand side there as part of a Magna Rail village, which I'm in the process of making to take to model railway exhibitions towards the end of this year in 2022. It's well underway, but I have a few more things to do on it. But this is the church. I rather like this model. I like the shape of it. I got a Langley Lichgate, which I painted to match. 
I've put, again, flowers and grass and gravestones and people around. This time it's just a church that's in the process of being used by the people of the village. Peaceful place to go and sit, for instance. Uh, there is a tree and it's just a rather nice little quiet spot with a wall made out of these plaster cast walls that you can get and put together, which I painted. Well, I hope you picked up a few ideas from this. Hope you came up with a few more in your own mind as to how you might do something like this. I really like the churches sitting in a natural, in their habitat and their environment with the world going on around them as they do. So I hope you found something useful in watching this and I'm sure I'll speak to you again soon. Okay then, bye bye.